the Hangul Museum, one thing that I thought about was King Sejong and his idea to create um, an alphabet system so that all the people could be literate, that a wise person could learn the alphabet in one day. And if there was somebody not as wise, they could learn it in 10 days. So the idea of everybody being illiterate and creating a system which was easy to learn. And this reminded me of the idea of like power and privilege because that's oftentimes connected to literacy, learning, and scholarship. So who gets to learn? Who gets to read, right? And so in some places, it was made to be very difficult. So even if we compare it to like a neighboring country like China, you'd have to like, you know, like 5,000 characters in order to be able to like read even a newspaper. So this idea of having a system that even, even a common person would be able to read and write really shows like a desire to serve the people, to help the people, which is one reason I think King Sejong is very much revered in Korea. Um, you'll see him really respected. And that's also somebody who's maybe worth the respect too because he's in a position of power and privilege, but he's benefiting the common people and all the people. So it uh, makes me think about like how people in positions of influence can be a blessing to others and using their capital, using their knowledge, using their wisdom, using their intellect, using their skills to be a blessing to others. Korean language because Han means Korean in Korean and Kul means alphabet, the letters in the Korean language. The artistic expression of what you see here is the idea of language creating light. It's the light of wisdom, the light of knowledge being unleashed. So as we look at the Korean language, it was made in such a way that it'd be very easy for people to learn. A wise person, they say, could learn it in a day. Someone not as wise could learn it in 10 days. But it was meant so that the masses could be literate and have information. Uh, we just showed an image of a woodblock print that would be used to then create mass copies of books. And also what that uh, another image that was invented was the movable type print as well. This is the movable type print in Hangul. Some people say it was Gutenberg that created the first printing press, movable type. Considered to be one of the most influential inventions to mankind, but actually you can see here we had movable type print in Korea.